In this lesson, we're looking at solving linear equations, word problems using standard form AX plus BY equals C. So let's go ahead and get started. So when do we use standard form to solve a word problem? Well, we use it when we're relating two different objects. So an example could be nickels and dimes, hot dogs and hamburgers, apples and oranges, um, baseballs and basketballs. It does not matter, but as long as you're trying to relate two different objects, that is when we will use standard form. So let's go ahead and solve some word problems. Our first example here, it says Jermaine ordered two hamburgers and three hot dogs. So right here, we can see that we have two different objects or items. So we have hamburgers right here and we have hot dogs. So that's our two different objects. And now it says um, from the concession stand at the baseball game, his bill came to $19.05. If hamburgers cost $5.25 each, write and solve a linear equation to find the cost of each hot dog. So the first thing we want to do is define our variables. So I'm going to let X equals hamburgers. So that's what I mean when I say define our variables. We need to assign a variable for each item. And I'm going to let Y equal hot dogs. You can use any variables, but I just like to stick with X and Y. But it does not matter what variables you use as long as you define which variable goes with what item. And so now let's write our equation. So it says he spent a total of um, $19.05 and he bought two hamburgers and three hot dogs. So two hamburgers, um, our variable that we're using is X. And so our equation would be two X and hot dogs, since, since that is our y value, he bought three hot dogs, so that would be plus three y, and he spent a total of $19.05. So that is my equation, but now I want to find the cost of each hot dog. So it says if hamburgers cost $5.25 each, write or solve a linear equation to find the cost of each hot dog. And so hamburgers are $5.25, so that is X. So I'm gonna plug that in for X. So two times, so instead of putting X, I'm gonna plug in at 5.25. And if they would have given us the cost for the hot dogs, of course we would have plugged that in for Y, but in this case, we're plugging it in for X because that is our hamburgers. Then I'm just going to simplify to solve for Y. 2 times 5.25 is 1050 plus 3Y equals $19.05. Left with that two-step equation, subtracting 1050 from both sides. Cancels out. BY equals 1905 minus 1050. That is 8.55 and dividing both sides by three. So Y equals 2.85. So the cost of each hot dog is $2.85 for each hot dog. And I can say per hot dog. So that's how much they cost. So we've written our linear equation in standard form and find out the cost of one of our items. So let's take a look at example two here. It says Janae's piggy bank has 11 dimes and quarters. So we have our two objects here, our items. We have dimes and we have quarters. The total value of the money in her piggy bank is $11 and 40 cents, so let's take note of that. If Janae has 36 quarters, write and solve a linear equation to find the number of dimes she has. And so, let's go ahead and define our variables. I'm gonna let x equals dimes, and y equal quarters. And you can use d and q for quarters and dimes if you like, but again, I just like to stick with x and y. 
And so now it says in her piggy bank, she has all dimes and quarters. The total value of the money in a bank is $11.40. And so just to write our equation, we're not given specifically how many of each, but we do have the value here just from some um, background knowledge here. And if you think about it, how much um, is a dime? That is 10 cents. And so that would be 0.10 um, in decimal form. So as in money, so that's 0.10. And quarters are 25 cents, so that would be 0.25. So that is um, going to be the numbers in our equations or in our equation to write it. And so our equation would be uh, 0.25. 10x for dimes because that's the value of a dime plus 0.25y equals a total of $11.40. So that is our linear equation. And we could use this to solve any, to find any amount of quarters or dimes. But in this case, we are given 36 quarters. So if she has 36 quarters, how many dimes does she have? And so quarters, in this case, um, we chose the value Y. So we're gonna plug that in for Y. So let's solve this. 0.10X plus 0.25. Instead of putting Y, we're gonna put 36, because that's the, uh, that represents our quarters, equals $11.40. Simplifying 0.10X plus 0.25 times uh, 36 is 9. Let's put that two step equation. Subtract 9. 0.10x is equal to 1140 minus 9 is 2040 cents or 2.40. Dividing both sides by 0.10. 0 0.10. And we are left with um, 24. So x is 24. So how many dimes does she have? She has a total of 24 dimes. So if you were given the amount of quarters, I mean the amount of dimes to find out how many quarters, you would have just plugged that in for, for, um, for Y and saw it for X. But in this case, we're looking for dimes, and so X is dimes, and so we have 24 dimes. Okay, so I have a problem I would like for you to try here on your own. So remember to first define your variables for your two different objects, set up your equation, and then the value that you're given to find uh, the other uh, item or the amount of items, um, go ahead and plug that in. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so go ahead and check your answer. Hopefully you got it correct. Uh, the equation is 3.50x plus 5y equals 2,500, or you could have used any variables. And we were looking for solid rows, and that was 250 solid rows. So hopefully you, hopefully you got it correct. If not, pause the video so you can analyze my work just a little more.